Hey beautiful divas out there and gents and this is Anna once again. Woo woo. Okay so I'm coming to you with a this and that video for Ooh La La Vintage Treasures and this is my design team projects. So what I wanted to do was because Doreen sells kits she sells other stuff too but she sells kits and I just wanted to do this time I normally just do one project with the kit and I use almost like everything in it so I wanted to maximize and do a few things with one kit so right now the what I'm showing you is using the shabby attic kit and um, I'm going to show you the three projects that I made with it okay ladies so let's start with huh we'll leave the biggest one for last <laughs> and we'll start with the smallest okay oh and ladies look at that look at my thumbnail that is so disgusting and you know what did that because my nails were all done they're all nice they're not all chipped and looking crazy this stinking glue right here got on there and it like ate the nail polish off my nail as soon as I rubbed it off my nail polish went with it but on the flip side this Mama Jam is some pretty good stuff. This would also be um, like the Fabri-Tac, but on a cheaper end. And this is what I used to adhere the fabric you're gonna see on here. Um, okay, this is just a regular little burlap, burlap. <laughs> oh my gosh, burlap bag that's right here. And these two pieces, you see they're both rounded right here. They were both up. They were way too long. They just didn't look right. I didn't like it. So I actually, um, I hot glued the edge piece here and then I did the other end and I just put some tool from the kit. I just tied it through. So it's tied right here. Okay. And then you can, you know, stick your stuff there. Honestly, if I was to do this to it, it was just, I don't know, it didn't look right. So I didn't, you could do that absolutely do it where you're you know you have it like this if you have these kind of bags this bag does not come in the kit this is just what I was using to alter okay so what I did is I used some really sheer um, trim that was in the, my kit and I actually stuck this stuff all around the edges and then um, I went and stuck this big applique that comes in the kit and it's just gorgeous. Love it, love it. I used some of this really pretty trim on the side, on this side also. I used a bunch of trims here. I used this one, which is absolutely gorgeous. It's all tea dyed. And then I used that trim. Then I used this really pretty embroidered type type of trim. They're all tea dyed. Okay, and then this right here is some tool that also comes in the kit and it's kind of like a brownish color or like a champagne color and then um, I went ahead and tied like a little bow and then this little bead cap also comes in the kit and this um, and I stuck this little flat back pearl on top so it goes in the middle. This was all from my own personal stash. It's just a little charm that hung here and I liked it together. And then I just went ahead and gathered some lace all the way at the back of it. So you can see it's like a flower. These little cabbage satin flowers come in the kit also. The bling. This cabbage one. This little tiny doily was from my stash. And then this pretty little um, button also was in the kit. That also was. This is some tea dyed lace that I went ahead and gathered in the back. This little doily was in my stash. This little bling came in the kit also. So I used what one, two, three, four, five trims, six including what I used back here, some tulle, and that's it. Just bedazzled it vintage style. And then when I decide to gift this or put something really yummy inside, then I'll use it. But that's one little item. Then the next one I did, I love these boxes. Christina Betts here on YouTube. She's a sweetie. Oh my gosh, she is just, I love her. She's really, really sweet. I love watching her videos. She's full of energy like myself. <laughs> so um, I followed her tutorial, ladies. Um, on how to do this. This is the three and a quarter inch box. She shows two of them. She has 
two um, measurements for a half inch and then also for um, a quarter inch and that's what this one is okay so that little doily is from my stash but the cabbage flower is from the, the uh, kit and then what I did is I just went ahead and I added um, a square piece of velcro right here this paper is not part of the kit obviously this is you know um, the Botanica by Prima so um, I used this to make my envelope because it went according to my card and this is my vintage card I love it okay and I used a corrugated card okay and this is the one that Laura gifted me thank you Laura hi she is Robin Laura Rob and Laura and then this trim right here comes in the kit and um, I was inspired to use this over the whole cover by Violet who is 48 scrap in hi Violet she made some absolutely beautiful altered books and she used I believe this same one and did the whole cover with it and it looked gorgeous so she was my inspiration for using it on my card okay so it's just the regular corrugated card and I used once again this stuff right here all along the edges and in the middle and it works like a charm it doesn't seep through you don't see anything it's awesome so I used it all on the front and the back one big piece okay and then right here is some canvas type of material that comes in the kit so I cut it into a square and I just took out some of the threading so that it would be a little um, frayed along all the edges. This also comes in the kit, this really pretty little sheer applique. And then this little um, cabbage flower comes in the kit. And I'm gonna point out everything that comes in the kit, so I don't say it 5,000 times, okay? <laughs> the pearls here, and the little blings, right here, 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 and then right here. This whole bouquet she makes and she puts the, the bouquets in her kits. I absolutely love the bouquets that she creates. They are just so pretty and it looks like she used the same material that I have here that she wrapped around the bottom part of her bouquet. So everything as you see is fully distressed, tea dyed. I love it. I love the tea dye. I always ask her for tea dye because it's gorgeous. And see how she creates with the pretty centers and oh, love, love the bouquets. So that's also from there and all the trims you're gonna see are from also from the kit okay so that I pointed everything out and then I had this in my um, stash and then I just you know stamped thinking of you um, I used an I am roses cherry blossom and what I did is I took out the yellow little sprays that are the stamens that are in there and I put this beautiful little um, bling that also comes in the kit and it's pointy at the bottom almost like you would get a diamond set into a ring that's the way this is so it's super gorgeous it's not plastic and I put that in the middle and then I just put these from my own stash these little um, flat back crystals and um, I did a bunch of layering I used some of this eyelet um, trim right here then I used another trim right here also this one and it kind of goes like this then I had a little piece of this left and I went ahead and used it in the middle then I used some of this really beautiful embroidered one that goes from here to here. And this happens to be like a teardrop, so I thought this was perfect to stick it in the metal. And then I just sporadically put some pearls all over the place. These little sprays are part of the bouquet also. I love these, these are really cute. Okay, and then I have these set up on dimensionals right here. It's gorgeous, I love it. And I didn't do a ton in the um, inside of the car because it's already heavily embellished on the top part. So this right here is just the same as this here. So the three and a quarter fits perfect for these um, these cards. You see, it is just awesome. And then when I do decide to gift it um, to give it away, then I'll go ahead and I'll write the information and stick it on the card and I'll probably embellish the front. I'm not going to do that yet until I know. So I'm going to stick this in here so that I don't forget to use that. Okay, so that's my card. Box and a card. And then this is my bigger project. I was in the mood to make another one of these Tussie Mussies. Love it! 
this is kind of big so let's see how i'm gonna show it let's see let's see if i can pop this up a little bit okay so let me show you the paper line this is the paper line i used um i don't know it's um authentic but i don't know the actual name of the paper line so i don't have any 12 by 12s or anything by them i wish that is like my number one on my wish list because i love authentic and i only find them in single sheets and their paper is like almost like a thin chipboard it's so thick and i love it super durable so that's what i used and bona was the one that showed a tutorial hello bona and um on how to make these out of a 12 by 12 cardstock so that's what I used. Okay, all of this shabby, extra long eyelash type trim, let me see right here, is from the kit. So I added that on the side. This beautiful little trim right here is also from the kit. Okay. And then I also use the same fluffy eyelid trim or not eyelid, but eyelash trim all on the side. This right here, also same thing, it's from the kit, and they're like clear iridescent pearl trim. So I just cut the one strand into three and I hot glue gunned it behind this whole big masterpiece right here. Okay, so this whole big thing is one piece. That doily's from my stash. And then this is from the kit, I gathered it I put it behind the trim that when Doreen sends it, she sends all of the trims gathered. And I had mentioned before in a previous video that they always look like flowers. So I didn't even do anything with it. I left it just the way she packed it, did not unravel it. And I loved it because it looks just like a little blossomed flower. So I put that in the middle and this big ginormous mamma jamma bling also comes in the kit. and. This right here, ladies, was difficult for me to part with, but I told Duran that I wouldn't be hoarding anything, so I have to use it. <laughs> so um, this whole thing is the centerpiece of the Tessie Messy. And the stick pin I made also using the goodies in the kit. So all of these pieces, including the stick pin. And also this doily comes in the kit too. It's a tea dyed doily, super beautiful. I sporadically put some flat back, um, uh, flat back, some bling. <laughs> I put a piece here and then I stuck a piece here and then, um, I have some here and it's sporadically put through there just to fill up spot. And then this right here is like a really loose looking burlap type of material like really really loose it also comes in the kit it's really gorgeous she put a lot of fabric in the kit to use and um, for flowers or whatever you want to use it for so i put that on here just super gorgeous and then i have this beautiful applique piece up here that i used and then all i did because i don't know if i want to make flowers to put inside so for the meantime i just have um this paper stuffing that you get from the dollar store so i just stuffed that in there so if i do decide to gift this or keep it i'm gonna i'll figure it out then and then what i used um let me say probably here i used some extra large eyelets on the sides and this trim also comes in the kit it's a really pretty ivory and that's what I'm gonna. That's what'll be used to hang on the wall. Then what I did is this is I showed um, before. This is one of those altered corks that I made. So I was like, oh, this looks perfect with it. So I just hung it on the side. So it's you see, I can't even show you because it's 12 by 12. So the camera's not gonna show it if I show it upright. But this is my last project with the design kit or the kit. The Shabby Attic or the Design Team Project for Ula La Vintage Chargers. I'll have her information below. It's an art fire. And take a sneaky peek because everything that's there doesn't last forever. So if it's there, she only makes few um, um, kits at a time. So when those sell, then she goes on and makes new kits. You know, so um, you got to stop by when you can and get some of this yumminess. So I hope you ladies love it. This is my vintage projects for Ooh La La. 
Hope you ladies like it. I had a blast putting these together. And um, thank you ladies so much for my past video on my son, on the mini book that I made. I am so endeared by every one of you ladies that shed a tear with me and that understand where I'm coming from, whether you have family or friends that are in the military. And, and even if you don't, I thank you every one of you for being so sincere and sweet in your comments. It meant so much to me and made me cry again because I'm just a big sap. So thank you ladies. I love you ladies. I seriously do. So thank you so much and I appreciate every one of you. Y'all have a blessed day. Bye.